How are y'all doing? Thanks for tuning in to Blue Shield Royals. My name's Troy, and today I'm going to go over my 2019 holdbacks. Right now we're in the 2020 season. We've got one clutch that's already landed and in our incubator. We got two more that should be laid here in the next week. So before I go taking out these babies over here, I want to give a shout out to SFB Exotics. Chris, Kristen, and Kylie, y'all are awesome. I love watching y'all's videos, so keep up the good work. So first off, we're going to start with Elsa and Anna. They're both double head albino pides. Well, Russo double head albino pides. So these are a part of my polar ball project. I'm hoping to hit a male this year because last year I produced two females. Get it closer for y'all. This one is Elsa. She's putting on weight pretty well. I'm getting some good size to her. I'm not going to hold these too long. Um, don't want to upset them too much. They actually, most of them just ate yesterday. However, this girl, Anna, is stubborn she's the only one who gives me a little bit of issue eating so last couple feeds she uh hasn't wanted to cooperate but like i said her and her sister both russo double head albino pides and they're part of my polar ball project trying to hit that R russo bell so Super Russo, Albino. However, I've also got Pied in here, so odds are going to be crazy trying to hit. But we're going to make all kinds of cool stuff in the process here in a couple years. This next one I'm pulling out. This girl's name is Tinkerbell. She's a Pinto Pied. We produced two Pinto Pieds last year, two females. The other female is solid white like her father, but we decided to hold Tinkerbell back. This is my girlfriend's baby. She loves her to death. So, that is Tinkerbell, our Pinto Pod female. I'm getting a couple spots on her. This next one I'm going to take out, he is actually in shed right now, so I'm not going to mess with him too much. This guy eats in shed though, no problem. He's real close, real blue right now. So, he is supposed to be a normal, you know, het pied male. I wouldn't have held him back. However, I don't know if you can see, he's got... On both sides of his nose, these little little spots right there, little rings. And compared to the other normals I had, you know, it could be just something to do with the head pod being in there. But the other head pods that I had, they uh, look a little bit different. The graniting and everything on them and whatnot, which, like I said, he's really dark right now from being in blue. So, hard to tell. But I'm keeping him as a dinker project. Um, like I said, very, very slight markings on him. It might be nothing. However, you know, I'm going to try to sit there and breed him and see if it turns out being something, you know. You never know. It's worth the shot. If it proves out to be something, that's awesome, especially coming from, you know, one of my first season having a male come out and uh if it proves out that'd be sweet hopefully it'd be something awesome so can't wait when it comes to that that's going to be insane so those are all four of our holdbacks this year we've got the same pairing albino to a pinto pie so we're hoping to get some russo double head albino pies a male hopefully this year 
We also have um, our Het Pied female paired to Pastel Pied male. So we're hoping to get some pies, Pastel Pieds. And we also have a Super Pastel bred to a Bumblebee. So we're hoping to get some Killer Bees. So that's what we got going right now. We can't wait to see what happens. Hopefully these girls lay here real quick next week. And once those eggs are ready to hatch out, we got some cool stuff, some stuff that we wanted. So plan on getting some more things, some bigger, better projects. But you know what? Got to start somewhere. This is our second season. And uh, get that going. Like I said, hopefully a couple years we'll be able to hit some albino pides, albino pinto pides. Super Russo Blue Eyed Lucy's. Um, hopefully a polar ball. And if we add that uh, pie gene to it, I don't know how the hell we're going to tell what all's what with that pied being in there and could be an all white pied that's also albino, but it could be a Blue Eyed Lucy. So we're going to figure that out when it comes. Either way, it's going to be hold back and uh, we'll see what it turns out being in the future. But we got. A couple years out before that even happens and you know we'll see when it comes but if y'all like this video please hit the like button if you didn't you know what there's also that option for you you can hit the thumbs down it's not going to hurt my feelings you know i'm a grown man i'll get over it i might cry a little bit hell it is what it is but ain't going to kill me so Otherwise, you know, hit the notification bell. Also, that subscribe button. Please subscribe if you like this. I'm going to try to get out videos. I know I've said it in past videos. Got to get my crap together and start making these videos for y'all. Hopefully once a week or every other week. You know, it ain't going to be too often because of my schedule with my kids and everything. But you know what? I'm going to try to do what I can. And I hope y'all stay tuned and uh, keep tabs on me. We've got Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, obviously. It's all under Blue Shield Royals. So please check us out. Love all y'all, and y'all take care.